Big changes are coming to the Seneca Park Zoo. A multi million dollar renovation will include new exhibits, a new front entrance, and more animals. The Monroe County Legislature signed off on all of this this week, and Rachel Spots found out why the zoo is making these changes now. Yeah, Jen, that's the question. We're talking new animals, new exhibits, and renovations to the tune of. $37 million, and that's just phase one. Plus, the main building you see when you walk in the front entrance, that's coming down. So, this place will be completely changed. Yeah, this building was built in 1930. It was state of the art at the time, and basically, it was designed as a menagerie where they would stuff as many animals as they could into one space. But the county parks director says times have changed. What we want to replace this building with is a more immersive experience where you really highlight uh, regions and we're going to choose to highlight tropical regions. Plus, at the far end of the zoo, a step into Africa will include new exhibits with giraffe and zebras on one side and rhinos and ostrich on the other. You'll even be able to feed the giraffe lettuce. They, uh, nine times out of ten, will gladly accept that very eagerly uh, with their big black slippery tongue and uh, probably slime you um, as they uh, grab that lettuce. And that's probably the best experience you could ever get at a zoo. On Tuesday, the county approved $13.5 million of its capital budget to go toward phase one of an ultimately 10 year project. We want people to know uh, that while the county funding is terrific, uh, we, there are still private donations that are needed to make this a possibility. And the Seneca Park Zoo Society has to raise about $20 million to go toward these renovations. If you're interested in making a donation, we will have a link for you on our website at whec.com.